Yeah, something like that. Zero, zero degrees. Zero yeah, feel, yeah, Celsius. Like oh, zero. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Wow. So that's that, that's probably in the twenties in Fahrenheit. Maybe I don't. I don't remember. I used to know uh, what the conversion was. Yeah. Uh, but it's like pretty much close to freezing. Freezing point is yeah, freezing zero. Freezing points is zero. Yeah. Zero Celsius. So I don't know oh, yeah. where where water freezes. It's zero. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I ju we just started going live uh, right. on the Facebook group for uh, for those of you who are watching um, and you want to ask questions. I'll relay I'll relay them to you guys. But I'm with the uh, members of Jericho right now. Uh, I, they're at the they're at the you guys are at the cabin from the Stone yeah. Lake sessions. Yeah. Stone, Stone Lake. It's in Finnish. It's Kivijärvi. Yeah. And right. yeah, yeah, Stone I, Lake. I I wouldn't be able to pronounce that. <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad that you can yeah but uh you know what i'm gonna put your Bandcamp link on the uh facebook group so that right. people can ch check out the music yeah because um, i know the the stone lake sessions are available and i know you have a new album coming out uh it, it, next month right yeah 7th of yeah. may the 7th of may right and that's um I know that uh, uh, the, uh, the single has been released, Black Moonshine. Yes. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, gotcha, yeah. And that um, the album Trip to Death and Back will be out on May 7th. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, I'm going to keep talking with you and do this at the same time, which is what we try to call multitasking. <laughs> but uh, I've never been. Here we go. All right, so Heather is watching from the road. Okay, cool. Which is awesome. Hello, this Heather. Is, this is her uh, her group. Um, so so before we went live on Facebook, you guys were telling me you'd taken a few saunas today. Yeah, yeah. twice today. Yes, twice today. And then I had said that uh, that my sauna experience, like if you guys were professionals, that I'm probably an amateur in terms of in terms of the way you, you know because you were talking about doing a sauna and then rolling around in the snow afterward yeah yeah that i mean that to me that seems like it's not something i would be excited to do um you should really try it yeah, i highly yeah. recommend it i i mean you know there was a um now that you mention it there was a uh a show that i watched where and I, I can't remember if it was a Finnish custom or an Icelandic custom where you sit around and drink a lot and watch TV. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll look up the name for it because there was a uh, specific... Sounds like was, normal weekend. Right, right, right. yeah. <laughs> it was, it is called Kal Sarikanit, so you drink alone at your home in your underwear. That's, that's it. That's yeah, exactly yeah, that, what it is. That's our thing. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Yeah, no, it's... It, the uh, it, were, it was two British comedians, um, yeah. and they said that they had learned about that as like a key to you know longevity with life. Um, so they said, "Why don't we try it?" And uh, it sounded really interesting. <laughs> it is. But, it's uh, it's fun. But it could just be a day that ends in Y. You know, for you, because they all end in Y. So why yeah. not? <laughs> why not yeah why not yeah well i i will add that to i mean there's really not snow near me right now so that might be tricky but i will add it to my list of things to do yeah you can come and visit when the yeah, you know uh, of course current yeah yeah well, I, I, mean, allows I have it. my first uh vaccine so i'm getting my uh second one may 1st and then i'll be in the clear and cool. uh, I'm, I'm, always... having my, I'm having my birthday on may 2nd we're having a big birthday party here with my grandmother. You know, our combined age will be 100 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you're invited. Well, I appreciate <laughs> it. I I may, I may. I mean, I'd love to go. Believe me, I would. I would absolutely love to go. Um, I, I there may be trouble trying to coordinate the travel schedule. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. But I. I mean, I could always pop on Zoom and just say hello over online. I'd be happy to do that. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, we'll celebrate. We'll celebrate your birthday in spirit on May second. Cool. So uh, the the new album comes out May seventh. 
Um, there are five songs on it. I know there are, I think there are three songs on the Stone Lake yeah. uh, yes. record. So there are five. So, um, and there's sort of a, I, I know that you guys wrote, I don't know if you wrote this on Bandcamp, but it said uh, sort of a stoner, uh, stoner psychedelic sound is what you're going for. I believe it's by quote, two dirty hippies. I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't know if you, you had written that or if that was just something, maybe the marketing. Yeah, it was uh, so you can see. We are uh, two I don't hippies. write anything except for the riffs. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's that me actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, and now we are two clean hippies because we just came from sauna. Right, just uh, two saunas. <laughs> I mean, that's you know that'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I was. I mean, I was listening to the music uh, of Stone Lake Records, the Stone Lake Sessions today, uh, and then I listened to uh, Black Moonshine. That that's no, it's not. Is it Black Moonshine? Why do I keep? I keep wanting to yeah. call it something different. Yeah. The new song is called Black Moonshine. Black Moonshine. Okay. Yeah, the lyrics were written by Nico and. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if it, if it, if the song is about you know drinking moonshine, which we have kind of a tradition around here, or is it about a black moon? I <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. I don't. But it works both ways. With yeah. That. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's it, it's best when there's not when it can be open to interpretation. Yeah, you know, is it if it's about drinking moonshine or a black moonshine or, you know, the the dead wolves, vampires, you know, whatever. It's all yeah. it's all good. Yeah, so what right. I know, I I am th thank you for. I know this is sort of late for you guys. I would imagine. No, it's not that late, PM. but yeah, you can see that uh, sunlight, there's no sunlight anymore. So we had to set up some uh, construction sites, lights over gotcha. there. So you can see as I know, we didn't want to stand, uh, sit next to some kitchen table. We wanted to go outside. You can see the snow and fire we have in there. Yeah, no, it's a great, and you oh, got the, yeah. yeah, you got everything. No, I, I appreciate some vodka. Vodka, yeah. I mean, you, all the all of the food groups are covered. <laughs> you got everything everything you need but yeah. uh no that i that I, I was um i i'd really like to help you promote the new album as it comes out because it's really good um i think for people who enjoy kind of like you had said the sort of psychedelic stoner feel to it a blue kind of a bluesy yeah. sound um it's very it's very it's it's like a combination of all that great stuff that that you you know I'm this to the audience not you guys because you wrote it but if you haven't listened to it I put the uh, Bandcamp link on the Facebook group I would recommend checking it out um, it's really it's like a sort of you know Rolling Stones meets uh, Caius meets you know all of these other great great bands that you would have you know on your turntable or on your playlist but oh, yeah. uh yeah and then may 2nd is uh did you say it was your your and your grandmother's birthday yeah we sh share the same birthday oh cool and uh he's turning uh 26 and my grandmother is turning 74 so it's 100 years wow okay that's yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> a hundred year celebration it's the, yeah, centen yeah. the centennial celebration yeah. yeah that's right but hey are we uh we are live on facebook right now we are we've okay. been live for yeah like yeah yeah no. now. <laughs> uh, that's a, is, is there a lot of people watching because we can see the numbers in here uh i don't i about the numbers man yeah this week. i'm not sure it because i'm i'm doing it through zoom oh yeah yeah so i i can't see on the zoom screen how many numbers there are yeah um, that's fine that's a doesn't matter but have a the, great time yeah the good so thing we, is that the the video will be uh archived so people oh, yeah, can, yeah, we, but, people can always watch it cool. um, yeah and we have to watch it again tomorrow so we remember what we, we, we'll be talking about <laughs> yeah it's okay but yes, we have celebration here. We have uh, also uh, uh, one lovely lady brought us a a puddle of bubbly drink. 
sparkling in here, wine. Sparkling wine. So we're just going to pop it right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. I mean, it, it looks it looks like it's a fun time where you guys are with the snow and the woods and the lake and, some and local uh, the fire. <laughs> that's that's Razanen. <laughs> that's our friend. Awesome. Nice Over to meet there. you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So is there hey. is the lake that you're at where you uh, write and record most of the music? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The Stone Lake sessions were recorded in that small cabin. I don't know if you can see it. Kind uh, of. Yes. Uh, yeah. Not that one. No. No. We you, we can't see it. It's in the dark behind okay. the tree over there. And but, my grandmother is sleeping there, so yeah. we're not going to visit her right now. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, See, but, that's what, what you have, the setup you have right now is sort of what I had hoped I would have when I, you know, when I, a little, when I was a little bit younger and I was just starting to write, I would, th I thought I will try and get a cabin by a lake one day and I can just go and, and be creative. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I definitely admire the setup you guys have. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And uh, this is pretty actually normal in Finland that uh, all of, the, not all, but many of families have cabin at the countryside where they can come at summer and uh, just chill, you know, do some woodwork and, uh, and I'm, I mean, chopping some wood and just go to sun and Swimming chill out. Lake. Yeah, swimming in the lake because uh, where we recorded the trip to death and back, it's from my cabin, my family's cabin. It's like how many miles from here? Uh, kilometers from uh, here. It's not that much actually. 60, 70. Yeah. And uh, there's my family cabin, it's a big old house and also sauna, of course, but not lake, it's middle of the fields. But uh, we recorded there and the Willits near it it's actually called death it, uh, kuolema in finnish and uh, there's uh, a few folklores telling uh, tales behind the name and in our upcoming album there's uh, there's three songs that tells those different folklores where the name came from and you can read the those three tales from our uh, upcoming albums booklet yeah, that's right. Okay. I, we've written them in there. They are, they are, they are interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So P, if P, people, I mean, if they want to just hear great music, they can get that. But if they also want to learn uh, about some uh, Finnish folklore, yeah, then they'll be able to read about it. Yeah. And uh, they can check the liner notes. Yeah. Read the stories. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's great. One of the things that's been great for me about discovering bands from around the world is sort of finding where everyone gets their influences, you know, culturally. You know, if you listen to a band from Brazil, a lot of the time the lyrics deal with what it's like to grow up in Brazil. Yeah. You know, I've discovered a lot of Australian bands who talk about, you know, indigenous stuff going on in Australia. So it's nice. I mean, there's there's some universal things too, which which is great to hear about everyone you know, talking about uh, fighting the man or stuff like that, but um, yeah, that's universal. Yeah, but it's it's again, it's cool to learn. You know, learn about uh, doing the sauna, being by the lake. Um, and I'm blanking on the name of the drinking in your underwear thing, but that was <laughs> That's yeah. I'll just let you say it because if I if I. <laughs> Any one of the the only drawback that I've found is when I discover a band that's not from the U.S. A lot of the time I can't pronounce the song titles, or I have difficulty. So then I feel like I sound like a buffoon <laughs> when I when I say it. But ev everyone's been very cool. You know, they've always contacted me and say, "No, you're fine. That's uh, that's not the correct pronunciation, but it's all good." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all good. So are you guys working on, uh, I mean, I know the album is coming out in a few weeks, but are you still writing new music and working on new stuff? Well, uh, new riffs come and go almost every day. 
Yeah. Some of them are keepers, some of them are not. Yeah. And some of the rifts are totally for different projects. Yeah, that's true also. Because uh, both of us, we've got other projects going on as well yeah, at the same right. time. Now, are you both staying on the lake right now? Uh, yeah, for, this, for this weekend, yeah. yeah. Oh, for the way, okay. Yeah. So but we live in a big, bigger cities. We both live. I live in Jyväskylä, Nico lives in Tampere. But I, I'm from Stone Lake originally. I was yeah. born here. Okay. So for the weekend, you're here. So you might wake up tomorrow, go swimming in the lake, or is it too cold to go swimming in the lake? <laughs> it's frozen. It's still frozen. Okay. So you won't go swimming in the lake, but you might wake up, play some music, relax a little bit, have breakfast, yeah. maybe go for a walk. Mm. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that sounds like it's a perfect place for me. When did you say the birthday was May 2nd? Yes. Yeah, I'll see if I can try to swing that, but uh, it might be tough. But um, but yeah, for those of you out there who are either watching this live, if you have questions for these guys, or um, if you're just looking for great music, I definitely recommend checking out Jericho on Bandcamp, and the new album comes out May 7th, but uh, the Stone Lake sessions are great too. So I, I would recommend getting the entire catalog, but that's- We you know, recommend that's, it too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just me. And I have to say, but uh, when we first came here, uh, it was almost. actually almost a year ago yeah. when we came here to make the Stone Lake Sessions. We didn't have a project name. We didn't have a record name. I didn't even know what we were about to record. Like Yeah, yeah we, we were totally came from blue, uh, out of blue me and nico we've been uh, doing all kinds of uh, band projects and music projects uh, since we've been knowing each other which is almost 10 years by the yeah, way something like that yeah and uh, we we've been always trying to make make something cool and like that and this was just another trip just mm -hmm. to, we we gather up all all kinds of uh, recording gear and uh, instruments and like that we came here. With... I, I was like expecting like we do like more like traditional blues or yeah, something like roots, it, root stuff, and like, like that. something in vein of CC top. But yeah. then, then I pulled out my guitar and I think I had it was it, my it, guitar actually. No, it was my Telecaster, but I uh, fucked yeah, up, I right. fucked up the strings right away. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but <laughs> I think I had it in drop D and I just doing a little sound check and it happened to be the heavy smoke grip that yeah, I had yeah. been playing for quite some time and Jere was like hold on what are you playing and then i was like i don't know just checking tools <laughs> yeah just sound checking and that kind of set the tone for us yeah like, uh, okay <laughs> we're we, doing psychedelic psychedelic stoner stuff yeah then. we just uh, hit the record to see if the sound levels are right and how does it sound uh we just started jamming we did uh, that riff with uh, Heavy Smoke, we did it a few times, a couple times, and uh, it's just sounded right. So it was actually that moment where we knew the direction we are going into. And then we did uh, Others was the second, and Kadut, the Finnish one, uh, was something that I have, I had played my own a few times. I had the lyrics ready and just been jamming it like that and but in here we made it the song that it is today and yeah, yeah and, and all the song came really easy we just played them through and it was like okay let's see what's up with this and uh, then I uh, after the trip uh, I started mixing those adding some synths and uh, redoing vocals and like stuff like that and it uh, started to take good shape shape with the songs and it was uh really easy easy actually and uh, with these new songs we had to it was uh, more like we had to do more like the composing composing yeah we had to do a little bit more composing but we but so the songs are a little bit different, but I think that just goes under category of growth. Yeah, I, th I mean, I, I always say that 
the really the only reason why a lot of these uh, categories or genres were created was to give people something to argue about. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, at yeah, the true. at the end of the day, it's all just you know rock and roll music. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, but I mean, that's cool that that the first album, you know, that it, there was magic to it. You know, it just sort of you started playing, you hit record, the the songs just sort of came out, um, and you knew you had something. Yeah, and I think I think probably, you know, with the second album, you may have needed to put in a little bit more effort to yeah, uh, yeah, to get yeah. to get the sound the way you wanted to. Yeah, but um, but there was also also lots of moments where we just jumped out like. Uh, uh diving which is the second track of the new album it, it came out pretty pretty much a, it's it's bluesy track and it just came out uh as it is pretty much and uh, the other songs also nico had some great riffs that we started working on and and yeah it was a little bit tougher but uh well, i'm i'm pretty happy with what we came out with yeah, well, I'm I'm looking for. I listened to uh, Black Moonshine, but uh, I'm looking forward to listening to the other tracks, and uh, and I listened to all of Stone Lake Sessions, as well. So, definitely, yeah. I definitely, yeah, I mean, definitely an album, two albums that uh, are definitely worth people getting, and uh, and listening to, regardless, really, regardless of what music you like. I mean, it's it's accessible music for everyone. Yeah. Um, so. I, I don't know if I could endorse it any more than that, but I will. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you. So, You've done plenty. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's yeah. Definitely uh, songs that are to come. The Black, Black Moonshine, it's a three and a half minute straight up rock and roll song with post rock and fast rock and like that. Uh, the other songs, there are really experimental stuff in there. And uh, there's one song that is finished. Uh, sang in Finnish language again and there's one instrumental song also and uh, there are some massive tunes and there are some experimental stuff in there and it, it has been really fun to do yeah that's I mean it's great I've always found it's great to explore and try new things and, and see what fits and what doesn't fit and experiment so I'm again I'm looking forward to listening to see the direction the band goes in because oh, yeah. uh, I let, I mean, I really enjoy the music you've already made, um, but it'll be nice to sort of see where you take it. Yeah. So that'll be, uh, we are also excited to see where we are going to go because we don't know, we don't have any plans with, uh, 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 but our, our plan is to, after we get this release done uh, during this summer, I think pretty soon we are going to start recording new songs and uh, just try out and and also our plan is to always try different methods of composing music like uh, uh, now we've been doing lots of like uh, drum and guitar jams and from that point we start to compose them further but uh, we have a couple of plans that uh, other kinds of plans that we could also try and it's who knows what comes up? Yeah. Well, I, are you, I mean, are you, do you have a plan to play live at all uh, when things settle down? Or is this more of a, of a project that you enjoy writing and recording? Uh, for the moment, I think we're sticking to being only a kind of a studio project yeah, band, that's, but because we're only two dudes here, but we've been asked, asked to do some live streaming gigs some, somewhere in the near future. And live gigs also. And live so, gigs also, yeah. like, uh, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to, you know, play guitar and drums and bass and synths and sing at the same time. Sure. So sure. <laughs> we kind of uh, have to recruit some more people. And yeah. if there is really a demand for our, you know, live gigs, well, maybe we could do some. Yeah, maybe. The, yeah. Because we are both, both we we love playing live. It's 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 what we we've been doing uh, many years and what we both love to do. So it would be really fun, but we have to uh, gather up the right people to do it, right band. We have to practice. We have to 
a little bit composed those sounds to work live. But I, I can see that there are also pretty much like mechanical pop ups. Yeah. Freedoms. Uh, there, there are freedoms to uh, what we could do. We could do like a uh, heavy small way, which is bluesy track or, or another bluesy track and uh, embed some uh, long uh, imp- just jamming. Just jamming in there. Yeah. It would be really fun to do with this kind of music, like stoner, bluesy, and fussy stuff. You could really just jam out. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I, I was just curious if you had thought about what, you know, if there were plans to to play live or anything like that. But it sounds, I mean, it sounds like right now you're still kind of figuring out as as things move forward what the next step is. Probably recording some new music, um, keeping it as a studio project, and then you'll see if the demand is there, you're willing to play. Um, if you can find some other people. But, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's great. That's great. Yeah. I think one step at a time. Yeah, and we have lots of friends uh, that uh, that are used to playing live. They are used to making music. All, all Almost all of our, like, uh, All of friends. our friends or people who we know, they are more or less musical people. You yeah. know, well, musicians I would, of some sort. I would imagine there's probably a pretty cool music scene that you guys are a part of with um you know with with musicians that are that are playing gigs or at least, uh, maybe before the pandemic i don't know what yeah, things yeah. are like now but um yeah things been shut down for a year well la- last summer i played some gigs Me with, too. My, Me too, yeah. with my other band and we also went busking you know and i don't know maybe we should try some busking <laughs> and do some, you know, <laughs> acoustic versions of our songs. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah, but, why not? Uh, no, but that's that. That's. I mean, it's 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 cool to know that there are a lot of options moving forward as things start to return back. That if you wanted to play live, there are people you could, uh, you know, you could play with. Um, yeah. You know, if you wanted to keep it as a studio project, you certainly could do that. Yeah. You know, you've got you've got the lake house, you've got uh, the sauna, you've got um, everything everything you need. Yeah. So. Pretty much. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, um, we we've been loving it because we like we said we both have bands that do live gigs and it's great. But uh, doing live gigs, especially going out of town, it uh, right. takes a lot of organizing and uh, all kinds of uh, different kinds of stress with uh, band. And you have to uh, always do the promotion. You have to always sell the gigs and like that. And uh, well, when having a studio project like this, it's uh, pretty stress free. You can just just do what you want. Right. It's- record some songs and if release. You feel like doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it sounds. I mean, it, it sounds to me like you have the perfect arrangement going on, where it's a stress-free environment. You can yeah. be creative. You can try some new things. You can have a lot of fun, and you yeah. don't have to worry about uh, any of the hassles or stress of uh, the other aspects of of playing music. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's what everybody needs is just a chance to kind of be creative and relax, have a good time, chill by the lake yeah but uh but yeah no i i'm i'm jealous of your setup as i said before i would love to be by the lake right now although uh i don't know i don't know how i would do with the cold because i'm not (laughs) i i grew up in new york city which uh would some you know it, it would have seasons so it would get cold during the winter but um i i i don't think I don't think I, you know, necessarily what I went through is similar to what a Finnish winter would be. Well, the, this this winter was pretty, uh, pretty cold. Pretty cold. That was like a minus thirty degrees, and I'm talking okay. Celsius. It was the maybe the coldest part, but um, that uh, went on went on for a couple of weeks, and then it yeah. went to like minus fifteen Celsius. Yeah like that but now it has been uh like today it was a plus 
plus 15. Well, could be. 16, 17 even, maybe. In the sun. When yeah, it, yeah, in the sun. In the sun. And now at nighttime, it's minus two, three, maybe now. Some, I'm, some I'm not sure. So a different difference a lot. But, well, we have sauna. We, we can get yeah. heat up. <laughs> and we have some beverages. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it what, else, up. what else do you need? You yeah. got the lake, you got music, you got beverages, you got sauna. You got, a barbecue uh, also. And a bar, yeah, and a barbecue. Yeah, and we're Finnish people, we also barbecue during winter. Wow. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but mostly, mostly during summer. That, that's summer thing, really. But you have to eat during winter also. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. But we've really been ha having fun. This weekend was uh, pretty much about uh, cutting loose and uh, good. Good, time, good time with friends. We have all, uh, lots of our old friends over there. Like we have like ten people in here having a, having a party during during whole weekend. We've been going to sauna and barbecue and listening to music and that's like great. That. Yeah. Well, most of the people that been with us when we've been on our trips while well, we've been recording and composing yeah. they're all here yeah basically yeah cool well it's a, yeah i mean it sounds like you've got a really good group of people who uh are all sort of excited to do the same thing create good music hang out have a good time yeah barbecue uh just check hey yeah yeah, here we have Matt. This is Matti. Matti over here. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And here we have Juho. Show, show us your shirt. Oh, shirt. yeah, he's got a, he's got a shirt. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Hello. This Hello. Hi. Yeah, and uh, Rasanen <laughs> was here before. <laughs> and there are some other... Uh, some of our girlfriends are over there and some other people also also but yeah yeah well it's i mean it sounds yeah. like you guys are having a wonderful weekend uh and um and yeah and it'll be great to have you know the music coming out in may the rest of the uh, album so it's the start of a good summer yeah, yeah. it is really good Yeah, but well, how you been having? Uh, do you live in? Where do you live? What, what is even your name, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I no, no, it's all, it's all, it's all I, good. Uh, so, so I, I'm Andrew, Andrew and nice to, meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And uh, I am an administrator for this group that uh, that my friend Heather started uh, to sort of. Oh, you know, it's it, mostly it's live bands will do live stream performances. Yeah, really. Uh, since the pandemic, and you know, a lot of shows have been canceled and people can't play. What they do is they'll they'll set up their gear and they'll play uh, on our Facebook group, and and yeah. people can watch it. So, well, maybe uh, we'll play a love gig for this group. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, you, you could. I mean, we all we. We do the uh, interviews like this and the live stream stuff to where people perform. Um, what's great is we have bands from all over the world that that can play because that's the beauty of the computer. Yeah, that's true. So, and uh, yeah, I've been watching some of those uh, streams you've been having and uh, uh, and the guy who you've been uh, taking contact, sending messages. I, I handled the uh, social media stuff and that's kind of Pretty, pretty much everything yeah. else i just write the riffs yeah, yeah. Well, that's an important part of the job yeah <laughs> we have and, and my uh i'm in school i'm in cultural management uh study studies that i do so this is uh, pretty much uh all the stuff that i uh study <laughs> and i i love doing it i love doing other uh mixing and uh releasing stuff and uh uh, investigating all the legal stuff with it and uh, like, like that it's it's it, it's it's my field yeah <laughs> yeah it's really good that you're taking care of it because if i take care of all of that stuff like 
we'd be in jail by this time. <laughs> I feel like I, that needs to be on a poster or something. If I took care of this stuff, we'd be in jail. <laughs> we yeah. could make a shirt for I mean that's that. yeah just have Jericho on the front have your face on the back and underneath if we if I took care of this stuff we'd be in jail <laughs> yeah right that, yeah that would I mean that that, that shirt would sell <laughs> yeah it would yeah really we have to think about that yeah if you're if you're looking for new merch yeah it's an option yeah but uh, yeah, no, I, I met Heather through a, uh, a marketing group and she created this Facebook group and asked if I would help out. And uh, it's just sort of springboarded from there. Yeah, right. Are there any questions asked there? Uh, I don't think so yet. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys have anything you want to, any other things you want to say, um, you know, I, 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 I've sort of gone through my questions. Um, you know, just start improvising, like, ask anything. Okay. Uh, do you got, who, do you have influences, bands you like to listen to now? Um, like if you were going to recommend band, other bands for people to Deep Purple. To. He says Deep Purple. Yeah, Deep my uh, Deep Purple has been my, since I was a kid, it, it has been my and first. Happy belated birthday to Richie Blackmore. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, Deep Purple is, it's, <laughs> well, both of our yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, I mean, they're uh, one of the best. Yeah, I've been listening to pretty much lots of punk punk rock lately. Like latest vinyl that I bought, it's from Cox Parer, like a, a punk band from the, I think they started in the 70s and their first album came out in 81 or 82 called Shock Troops. That's my latest uh, uh, album that I bought, you know, like vinyl and it kicks ass. Yeah, we listened Dude, yes, oh, yesterday. And I think we, yeah, we listened yesterday. It was a really great band. And, uh, and for, for me also, I love Deep Purple. I like, I love all uh, old classic rock, but I also listen newer stuff, metal, electronic music, uh, funk, blues, uh, jazz, anything goes really. And I'm pretty much, I'm a country boy, you know, Country music, it tingles my sweet spot. You know, <laughs> all of three Hanks, you know, Hank Williams, the senior, right. he's the OG. And junior, he's okay. But Hank Williams, the third, I got to give him a shout out because <laughs> Hank Tree is my hero. You know, yeah, yeah he lost me. Yeah, Bob Wayne also. He was Bob in the Wayne also. Too. Yeah, I've been, I've seen almost every Bob Wayne's Finnish gigs. And what else? Yeah, I, I, I would not have expected you to say country music, but uh, really, yeah, you know, I, I guess I, I didn't real, I didn't know if that would be, if that, you know, if country would be big in Finland or if you, you know, would knew any of those people. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a sort of a surprise based on the music. I guess now that I think about it. You know the the blues is in a lot of uh, the Stone Lake records, so you know country blues isn't so far from yeah. each other. Yeah, yeah, I kind of play in a band that is one third of a country band. We can kind of like mix country and old blues and some newer blues and straightforward rock and roll, and with some other elements in there as well. Yeah, there is a, uh, a a band in Germany who I, I interviewed the lead singer. They play Americana. Okay, um, what was the name of the band? They're called Rodeo FM. Okay. Rodeo FM. Rodeo FM, yeah, they're, they're out of Berlin. Um, and it was interesting because the lead singer growing up was very much into hardcore punk music. Yeah. And then he said he discovered uh, Americana and that was it. And he just, 
he formed a band, they started playing, and now they're just playing, you know, Americana in Berlin. Which, oh, yeah. Um, which, again, it was surprising to hear that that was a popular style, um, you know, outside of the U.S., but I guess, mm -hmm. you know, music is music. People yeah, and um, uh, uh, USA have been uh, a huge, yeah, well, you know, it's uh, kind of obvious, uh, the, all the pop culture from America has been great impact all over Europe, all over the world. So everything, even it's underground stuff for you in there, it's some some people in Finland will it's listen it fun. if it's anything like right. uh, we have a very wide uh, sphere of uh, uh, underground culture in here. You can find people doing all kinds of music in here. Sure. Like bands doing everything from like a single band doing everything from Bob Marley to Black Sabbath. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's, it's, it's always cool to learn, you know, how things work outside. I, I lived in Asia for a few years. So it was interesting, you know, living in Hong Kong and in Macau and sort of seeing what the, the cultures were like there. And that there was an, you know, there's an influence from the United States. I guess that's probably true worldwide. Yeah. Uh, but, um, but that's no, that's, I mean, that's really cool that you're, that you play, that you're in other bands, play country music. You like country music. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of some of the older, more of the older stuff, like, um, uh, like Johnny Cash. Hell yeah, man. And, um, uh, uh, George Jones is another another guy that I like. So, and then um, I guess the Highwaymen. Oh and, uh, well, fuck yeah, the, man! Yeah, you yeah, can't leave out. You can't leave out Willie and Waylon. No, no, no. Well, I, I mean, it, individually too, I enjoy Willie and you know Willie and Waylon. But um, I think what's it? You know, country music gets a pretty bad rap here now. Like a lot of the more contemporary musicians. Uh, don't really get the respect that those old guys got. So yeah. I think a lot of people, when they hear country music, they don't think about the classic, you know. They think about fucking Florida Georgia line, which is right. basically like Rihanna with, you know, cow cowboy hat and, uh, you know, boots. Right. They think about Garth Brooks, stuff like, you know, stuff like that, that sort of, you know, it does, it does like, I wouldn't put that in the same classification with george jones you know oh, or donnie you know but that's what people think of that's like the first thing people think of these days so but um but that's i mean that's cool i, I would imagine that that you guys probably have different influences from all these other genres then when you're writing and creating music so it's not you know it's not simply just retreading the same stuff over and over again yeah, we try to do something. Uh, well, we have like baseline with our music. Well, it's a sound rock. It's psychedelic. It's bluesy and uh, heavy dirty. rock, dirty like that. Uh, but we that's that's the baseline. But we are not trying to think any further. We just we have some good riffs. We try to think uh, what could come next and how we could build up songs from there and just move on with it and sometimes we don't even think yeah 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 that's well that's nice. i mean that i feel like that's a lot of the time the best creativity comes from not thinking about what you're going to do next and you just let yeah. it happen yeah and, uh, you come up you know you come up with something awesome yeah so i mean i i can vouch for the music that i've heard so far that uh that it's all i mean it's great and it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's cookie cutter, you know, where you've tried to force it into something. Yeah. So, so again, for those of you out there, if you're looking for, you know, great, just great music, I'm not even going to give it a label. I'm just going to say great music. Check out the Stone Lake Sessions. And uh, I'm, I can't believe I'm blanking on the name again for the, the latest album. Trip to death and back. Trip to death, yes. I kept wanting to say when the dead something, but trip to death <laughs> and back, right? Which I know analyzes some uh, mythology and folk tales from Finland. So that should be that should be pretty cool. Yeah, 
Uh, no, when, when we're talking about blues, I, I recall this uh, one one story that we had. Uh, like I said, we've been uh, friends with Nicole for almost a decade. And um, uh, when, when we first met, I was really much into uh, like clam rock, clam punk, and like stu- uh, stuff like that. He uh, was like the fifth member of Motley Crue. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Nico was always there. We played gigs together. He played like a harmonica or a second guitar. I was like the blues hobo from the gutter. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, at the time, I I wasn't familiar with blues. I didn't uh, find it like... Uh, uh, I wouldn't like put on some uh, blues albums and to listen to my own. And... Nico said sometimes that uh, you're gonna, you know what? Uh, o- over the time, I'm I'm going to get you into the blues. Then I came, I poured some beer, put on some good old muddy waters, right. and that's it. Sometimes that's all it takes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nico got me into blues. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you can you can hear that. I mean, obviously, some you know the in, the blues influence is definitely there in your music, but uh, I'm glad that he got you. You know, I'm glad that he influenced you that way. <laughs> yeah, because uh, and especially Muddy Waters. I um there was a, a there was a really cool project that I was a part of, which um, someone took the 500 greatest albums as decided by Rolling Stone magazine and different writers would write stories using the albums as the plot. So I wrote a story about uh, one of one of Muddy Waters' albums, I guess that was in the top 10. Yeah, easily, so, easily. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's he's uh, incredible. Yeah, and Nico here, he knows uh, you're going to ask him uh, almost anything about old uh, 60s, 50s blues music. Uh, he knows everything. <laughs> I've been trying to uh, 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 get him to take in part of those radio contests with some like uh, quick bits. Uh, you know, like uh, we have to know some uh, uh when you have to know some. Like a speed contest. Well, actually, yeah, I yeah. took part of one of those radio kind of music contests when well when i was driving driving home from work i was listening to listening to this rock radio channel and they were having a con- competition about acdc greatest okay. band in the world and i say that every school in the whole world should have a class about acdc <laughs> and I heard it on the radio. I was driving, and I did uh, maybe I did a little illegal thing. I picked up my phone and I phoned the radio station. I got into the competition, and I won the ACDC competition while I was driving. And I won this Kickass T-shirt and their latest LP. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, he he just knows everything. You just just ask anything. He knows it. That's cool. There's yeah. um, the the mo- There's a movie about Chess Records. Oh um, yeah, yeah. It's called Cadillac Records. Yeah, it's Cadillac kind of- Records. Yeah. Well, they. I think they they, because there were two movies that came out. The one with Adrian Brody uh, as as Leonard Chess, I thought was pretty good. Um, and then the, I forgot I forgot who was in the other what the other one was called. But yeah, Cadillac Records was good and they had uh, little walter howlin wolf Howlin' wolf yeah yep etta james but uh yeah no that's that was a good one yeah, yeah. so it, yeah so this week the rest of the weekend is that planned for you guys are you just going to sort of see what happens yeah we're going to chill out we have some uh, good food coming coming in there and we've been eating some moose today yeah moose yeah moose yeah. meat yeah like i don't know who killed it but maybe my friend's father shot it not far from here yeah it's pretty usual here that people uh, have these uh, groups where they uh, go hunt and H- hunting, right, groups. hunting groups yeah and uh, 
uh, when they got to meet, they they have it, they give it to family and friends. Uh, it's rare, rare meat and it's free range, it's ecologic and it's freaking good. I'm sure, yeah, it sounds. Yeah. And maybe we are going to make some new songs. Yeah, we have Kido song over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go yeah. yeah we'll see what happens we've been in the sauna two times today so we might not uh well up. you know third time's the charm yeah that's true we have still a, it's well it's 11 p.m in here right now so right have... i mean isn't there a saying when it's 11 p.m don't do a third sauna especially if you've got moose coming <laughs> yeah mm. probably or did I did I make that up? No, I think that's that's right. I I've heard okay. it before. <laughs> there yeah. there's a seed of truth in that. Yeah. yeah. I mean that that if you're if you're going to keep with the folklore and do another album, that could be you know an idea of with two friends thinking about if they should do a third sauna, and then uh, an ignorant American tells them, I don't think you should do a third sauna. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. And then on the on the back of it could be uh if i ran things we'd be in jail <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah, we've got two good. new songs yeah, yeah i mean the the i feel like that i'm not a musician by any stretch but it seems like the magic of being at stone lake is still alive you know the yeah, songs yeah. are just coming yeah it is it is it's the view that we have uh, unfortunately we don't have uh, <laughs> we can't show it to you right now because it's like 10 meters over there it's like just dark pitch black well, pitch black well, in when, there but when but, you and i uh tested the the um when we tested the uh yeah, screen, yesterday the yesterday i was able to see what it looked like and it looked really cool yeah yeah it's uh, especially in the summertime with the sun is shining bright and uh, the lake is unfrozen and it's cool. really beauty beauty in here Awesome. Well, I think uh, we should probably wrap things up. It looks like you guys might be writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> and uh, and if you end up doing a third sauna, that's totally cool. Yeah, uh, you you approve it. And if yeah, I dev I approve it. I, I've I've decided third sauna. Why not? Right. Third time's the charm. <laughs> and uh, but it's been great talking with you guys, and congratulations on the new album. I'm really Thank looking you. forward to. Uh, to listen to the rest of the songs and uh this video will be archived on the group so it'll it'll always be around and yeah we'll, looking, we'll share it a bit cool and i'm looking forward to hearing uh the new you know when you're when you are going to write new music i will uh i will be ready to listen to it yeah and we should so, do this uh some another time again yeah yeah well whenever whenever you'd like just let me know we'll set another thing up great and uh, and if you ever if you want to play at all, um, you know, do a live stream. We can do that too. Yeah, so. yeah, that's good. It's arrangeable. Cool, yeah. cool. Well, good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you, and keep on rocking in the free world. We'll do. <laughs> good.